Before we begin this training, we would like to remind everyone to please like and subscribe to this channel. And also consider supporting this channel on Patreon as it does not receive any monetization from YouTube. Thank you, and let's begin the training. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the Hive. This article will explore the character traits that all good boys should possess. This is not an outline of everything a good boy does, you have a brain so use it, but more the attitude that many women enjoy in their males. There are so many males that claim to be good boys, that we felt it was time for us to let you know what the hive considers good. While we are sure you are submissive, and we know you are inferior, this article is about hive expectations. If you are in service to a woman, then it is her place to outline the expectations she has for you. Please remember that the best outlines will be nearly impossible to fully achieve. Women want to see you constantly strive for perfection in your service. It is this striving that we appreciate. It shows you understand the value that the woman naturally has. It is another way to worship and appreciate her. A woman will most likely always leave plenty of ways in which the male can better himself. Ways he can improve his service to the superior gender. Do not feel too ashamed if you fall short of the expectations of your superiors. Because the very first, and the most important character trait of a good boy, is that he is always trying to improve himself. He strives to be better, more submissive, more yielding, and more useful to the women in his life. This list is less about the male-specific activities. All males know that domestic service, chastity, and many other forms of service are expected of them. Again, you know what women want without them having to spell everything out. Although some women enjoy spelling everything out for the males that serve them because it is an example of exactly how much control the woman has over the male. Again every woman is different so this article is about characteristics that most women look for in males. 1. Self-improvement. The very first thing a good boy must do is to commit to constant self-improvement in his service to women. A woman does not want to spend her time correcting everything the male does. She will push the male, only if she sees he has really extended himself and needs that little bit of discipline and guidance from his superior. We know how much our motivational encouragement means to you, so we save it for deserving males who push themselves. This is not only because our time is valuable, more valuable than yours, but because some males will abuse the help we offer by slacking off in order to engage us more directly. Some males are deceptive layabouts that pretend to understand the superiority of women, but only serve themselves and see female supremacy as some sort of fetish. The Hive wants to encourage you to set yourself apart from these time wasters. Women want to enjoy your service as much as you enjoy serving, and this will not happen if she senses that you are not pushing yourself to please her. Even if you are not the best servant, an ambitious male who serves with everything he has is a true delight to most women. As the male desperately tries to gain approval and meet the requirements of the women in his life, the female supremacist basks in his desperation. This more than anything, fuels her with a sense of her natural power over men. This is the true purpose of male servitude. The harder you push yourself, the more she feels empowered by your display. Mantra. A good boy always looks for new ways to improve his service. 2. Unimposing. Many males must be the center of attention at all times. Either they receive too little or too much attention from women growing up and they are now acting out this pathology on everyone around them. They may use everything from outburst to sulking as a way to draw the attention back to them. Women do not generally want to deal with this childish behavior. It is a form of emotional extortion robbing the woman of her rightful place out front. In our society, we seem to only give women attention for their body, or when they adhere to chauvinistic gender roles. When a male attempts to outshine a woman he is telling her that she is not worthy of attention. And this is the complete opposite of the truth. Women are the center on which the male's existence is based. Women give men a purpose. And one of the ways that males show this dynamic is to always direct their attention to the women they are serving. To be female is to be special, glorious, and your attention should be completely on her, all of her. 
This is how you can stay ever vigilant toward being of service to women. It is difficult to hear her wondrous directions, her requests. If you are chasing the attention of everyone and everything, stop and focus on her and all women. Be quiet and listen and obey. That is the place of the male. You will get all the attention you need by fulfilling her desires. Mantra. A good boy never seeks the spotlight. 3. Demure. This brings us to the other end of that character flaw. While some males seek attention others will hide away in dark corners. You know of whom I am talking about. They lurk on websites and troll Twitter. They watch porn that is generally centered on their fetishes and rarely on the women that are supposed to be in control. As if a truly dominant woman would use her power to bring to life the fantasies of men. No. It is time for you to leave the darkness. Move away from that computer screen. There are real women who need real service. And real service happens in real life. So you need to feel the attention of the superior female. To feel whole you need a female to serve. Your life is supposed to be about serving women. And part of this service is her showing off how well behaved you are. And this is another place we see this shyness mess things up for males. They need to learn to be uncomfortable for the women they serve. She wants to show off her power over you. And yes in this culture that might be embarrassing for you. You may be called pussy whipped or a cuckold as you scamper about fetching her things in public. But as your face burns with humiliation, her head fills with pride. It is flattering when a male serves a woman regardless of public criticism. But you should not care. Not only are you showing her how obedient you are to women, but you are showing all the other women who are present. While they may laugh and poke fun at you, there is likely a part of them that will covet the service you are giving her. They will wish to be served in a similar way. And you are showing them that males exist who enjoy serving women in this way. So allow the women you serve to dictate how much attention you receive. If they want to humiliate you then that is just what is going to happen. It is not your place to refuse her. And you should thank her for the attention she has allowed you to receive. Because showing you off is one of the ways she compliments what a good boy you are. Mantra. A good boy is grateful for any attention given to him. 4. Yielding. Many males have so many, so-called needs, when they finally are allowed to serve the superior gender. All of their desires, fetishes, and little perversions come spilling out of their selfish mouths. Imagine if you walked into a job interview and started listing off everything you wanted. You would probably get laughed out of the office. Now take this analogy and remember that the woman you are speaking to is your natural superior. She is not a proverbial Santa Claus here to bring you all your packages. When you finally get the chance to serve, it is your place to listen and not speak. Remember, women have been wrongfully pushed into the role of givers in our culture. From an early age, they are told that they are nurturers and caretakers. And while this is true to some degree, their true role is one of givers of direction and authoritative caretakers. The female, the woman, offers structure to the male. She gives him discipline. This is what he really needs. That and purpose. The purpose of service to all women. You know that you need to serve. So all those fetishes, all those perversions, they are all centered on your male genitals. And by asking the woman to put you in chastity, or deny your penis, is just more of males asking women to serve their genitals. This is highly unattractive. What is attractive is a male who asks what the women want what she needs and desires. If you are given the opportunity to serve, leave your perversions out of it. She will most likely find them out at a later time and use them to help train you to serve her better. You need to give up complete control to her. Let her run the show. If you serve her well she will bring on a wonderful adventure. One where she is in the driver's seat. And you ride bitch. It's not only where you belong, but it's where you want to be isn't it? So let her take the driver's seat from the very beginning and keep your fetishes to yourself until she asks. Mantra. 
A good boy yields all to the women he serves. 5. Responsible. This one seems counterintuitive, but it is very important. Good boys are adults. They take care of their own adult responsibilities. They pay their own bills and keep savings in case of emergencies. They work to advance their career to be more useful to women. And get educated. Basically, they take care of themselves. Most women are not your mother. They are not here to wipe your butt or hold your hand. They have so many of their own problems to take care of and it is your job, as a male, to help them. But we see so many males who overextend themselves. They give women money they do not have to spend. And they generally do not do it out of some sense of duty to the woman. They do it because it is a fetish. And then they cry and complain about being taken advantage of. Good boys give what they can and that's it. If they give it, they know it's their fault if there are consequences from the gift. If they serve a woman, they know that they have already taken care of their needs so they can serve them with everything that is left. As bizarre as it sounds, a good boy puts himself first. His needs must be met. Otherwise, he will eventually become a burden to the women he is trying to serve. So the hive expects all males to meet their own responsibilities. To be a functioning adult. To know how to care for themselves, so they can serve the superior gender. The world needs brilliant, competent, examples of beta male servants who embrace female supremacy. We need highly functioning inferiors to show the world how the natural order is supposed to work. Only then will this philosophy, this lifestyle, for lack of a better word, become a real option. So care for yourself and serve women. And maybe one day the world will truly be run by the superior gender. Mantra. A good boy is never a burden on the women he serves. So now that you have some idea of what it means to be a good boy, is there anything we left off? Anything you want to add? Then add them in the comments section. While the hive is here to educate you, we encourage you to leave feedback and comment. We appreciate that you are training with our programs, and we truly want to put our society back on the path of female authority. We need you to be a good boy and get out there and support women who are trying to finally stand up and take their place in the sun. You have dreamed it. And a world of good boys is a great start. Before we finish this, we want to again remind you to like and subscribe to our channel. But most of all we need you to support us on Patreon. Your donation really helps further the cause of female supremacy, and in return, you gain access to content you cannot get anywhere else. The following is a little example of what our donors have access to, so please consider donating now. And as always, serve all women at obeywomen.com. False male ego is a terrible force of destruction, victimization, and it not only destroys you, but everything you touch. It is one of the functions of the hive to crush that ego, stomp it out, to torment it, expose it, and in doing so, expose the lie, that you are strong, or even equal, to the female. So many males, like you, are crushed by the weight of this burden, of being equal, and because you know it is not true. You know you are a fake, that it is a lie, you must overcompensate. I talk about myself too much. I'm a perverted pig. No one wants to hear about me. I am an arrogant pig. I wish you would talk about you. I'm a silly pig. Women find me boring. I'm a stupid pig. Women know I need training. I am a boring pig. I hope this training helps me. I am an arrogant pig. I need the hive to instruct me. I'm a selfish pig. I am training my pig brain. I am an obedient pig. <laughs>